Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this video, I wanted to work on um, styling our nav bar um, and using a whole bunch of um, new properties so that you can start practicing using different properties to make the nav bar look good. But before we do that, I wanted to um, talk about display the display property because we're going to need it when we use our um, when we do our nav bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our HTML and on line 35, underneath the div with the class of container, we're going to create two more divs. So let's start by saying div and then enter. And I'm going to give this div a class. So I'm going to go inside the first element or the first tag, the opening tag. I'm going to go inside there right after the V and hit hit my space bar and say class equals and I'm going to say box because we're going to create boxes. Um, and then inside the uh, div where there's a, a space to put our text, let's say box one and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole thing and paste it underneath, except I'm going to change it to box two for the second one. All right, so they're both going to have a class of box. Um, I'm going to save. And then when I refresh, uh, if I scroll down, I'll see it uh, underneath the, the container div. But the only thing you really see are just is, is just the text. That's all you see. But we're going to go into the style sheet now, and we're going to create real boxes. So let's go into the style sheet and let's go underneath our container and let's target our box. So dot box and go ahead and put your curly braces in. All right. So the first thing we want to do is give it a background color so we'll be able to see how much space we're taking up. So background and then I'm going to give it my do my colon and I'm going to say blue and I'm going to hit save and then refresh and this is what happens in, in default. In def the default is that your divs are going to be um, they're going to take up the entire space of the, the, the width of the screen and they're only going to be as tall as the text however much text you have in there so if you have a whole bunch of text it's going to be a lot taller a lot the height is going to be more. But it's only going to follow what the, the text is in there. So if you want it to be taller, you have to give it, you have to tell it to be taller by giving it the property of height and width. The other thing is there's no margin right now, so our boxes are stuck together. So we can put a margin in there and uh, we can put padding and all kinds of things. All right, so why don't we first give, a, give these um, boxes a height and a width so that they will look more like boxes. So I'm going to say height is, um, I'm going to say 200 pixels. And then if I want it to be a square, I'm going to also say width is 200 pixels. Oops, sorry about that. All right, and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to refresh. So now we have a width, it's a width of 200 and a height of 200. But they're again still stuck together because I need a margin. So I'm just going to put a margin on the bottom of both of the boxes and there'll be a little bit of space underneath each one. So I'm going to say margin. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the uh, shortcut. So I'm going to do, um, I'd like 10 pixels for top and bottom and I would like zero pixels for right and left. And I'll hit save and refresh. And so now I have two lovely boxes. Okay. Now divs are by default block. They display in block. And that means that they're going to um, take up all the space that you denote it. You know, we denoted height and width, but uh, it's going to be on top of each other. So they're going to be display in block like this. So if we change that, so in fact, it's, that's default. So if I say display block, that's default, so nothing's going to change when I do that, and it's going to be the same. Okay, so display is another property that you can use for all of your elements. So if I say inline, and then I hit um, save, and then I hit the refresh button, 
my boxes become only as high or as tall as the text inside. So inline um, will not uh, listen to your height and width. Or it did you no, know, it didn't listen to my height or width. It only what it does is it follows what's inside the element, the text that's inside the element, or the item that's inside. If there's an image inside of it, it's only going to allow it to be as wide or high as what's inside of it. But if I say inline dash block, then these boxes are going to become big, big again, and they're going to be side by side. So that's the difference between display block, display inline, and display inline block. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to go back up to our nav, and I want to work on getting this thing to look like a real nav bar. Okay. So we're going to go up to, let, why don't we go over here to, um, it doesn't really matter where we go, but I'm going to go to after italic. And so I'm just going to do two, two enters. And what we have to do is let's start with um, targeting the nav bar itself, okay? Because the nav bar, we're only going to have one navigation. So if you if you go back to your index, it's okay to target the nav element if you're only going to have one nav. So I'm going to go ahead and target just the nav. So I'm going to say nav. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all give it a background color. So background, and you can say background, or you can say background color. Either one is going to work. And they give me a few colors I can choose. Oh, some popular colors. So maybe I'll choose, of course I can choose, I can totally find my own color, but I think I'm going to do aqua, let's do aqua marine. All right, okay, and I'm going to hit save and refresh. So now my nav has a color. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to, we can center the text. This is something you're going to use a lot. Anytime you want to center your text on your um, page, you use this property, text align. And, but it only, tech, only will work on text. It doesn't work on the entire element. So I'll t teach you that in, another time about how to um, center entire elements. Oops. Text, what? Colon. Why isn't it working? Okay. Text align, and we're going to say center. And we're going to hit save, and so my text goes into the center. Now, these didn't go, but I'm going to get rid of them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now if I want, you know what I'd like to do before we continue with this, is let's get this to center the page. So that's my H1, so I'm just going to go over here and say text align and I'll say center. Okay, and we'll hit save. There you go. Another thing you could say instead of center is you could say right, and it'll go to the right of the page, and so it's way over there, or you could say left and it's back in default. Okay, so we're gonna say center. Okay. Next, let's work on getting rid of the underlines on our links. So what we're going to do next is target the link tag, which is A, and then put our curly braces in. And most people don't want to have their any of their links underlined. So this is a this is a good case where you would use the element name for your entire application. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those underlines. So the property is text dash decoration dash line. And my text editor has it right here, so I'm just going to click on it. And then I'm going to say none. And I'm going to save and refresh. And so we lost our underline. Next, I'd like to get rid of these um, bullet bullets. And if you remember, the bullets were part of the unordered list. And usually, this is another point when most people want to get rid of the bullets everywhere. So we're just going to, um, we, could, we could just do it for any unordered list. However, what if we really, really weren't sure? So maybe instead of targeting every unordered list, let's target the unordered list that's inside the nav. And this is how we'll do it. We'll say nav and then UL. 
That way we're targeting the UL unordered list that's inside the nav. That's a little bit more specific. It's a lot safer. Um, and so we'll put in our BERT curly braces. And the property that we need is list-style colon, and then we'll say none, and we'll hit save, and the bullets should disappear. Good, good. Okay, now we want to get these things to not be in block, but we want them to be in line. So I believe we should do it in the same place as NavUL. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think what we need to do is we have to target the list items themselves. Each one is a list item. So why don't we target just the ones that are inside the nav. So again, we'll do the same thing as we did just a second ago. We'll say nav list item. So we're targeting the list items that are inside the nav. And we'll say, let me just bring it up here so you can see it better. Okay, so we are trying to make it a um, not block. We want it to be inline block. So we're gonna say display inline inline block and save and now they are side by side however they're really small so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a little padding padding is gonna be say 30 pixels save and it's a much better size so you could make 25 pixels or 20 pixels whatever you want all right, so that's pretty good. Um, now, interestingly, if I click on the About page, our navigation is not, the styling is not hooked up to our About page, nor is it hooked up to our Contact page. So to fix that, it's very simple. We need to go into our About HTML, and we need to go into the head. Underneath the title, we are going to put a link tag, so hit so type link and hit tab and what we need to do is we need to just write the name of our um, style sheet which is style.css inside the href style.css and that will connect the style sheet to this HTML page so I'll hit save and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing in my contact HTML um, there's my head there's my title. I'm going to go right underneath the title inside the head and we're going to link the style sheet to this HTML as well. So style.css and save. So now when I refresh my contact page has the styling and so does my about page and so does my home page. Okay. All right, we did a lot in this video, and um, our next video, we're going to be working on more styling. There's so much to learn in styling. We're going to start working on images, and we're going to probably do a little bit with shadows and borders and shadow texts and shadows of images. And then after that, we're going to start working on something called Flexbox and uh, possibly CSS Grid. We'll be getting into those things later. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.